and also recording so hopefully everything is working out uh, i haven't streamed for a while but i'm back and i wanted to do this uh, one time video stream vod uh with uh steven seagal as my character i'm a huge fan of his terrible movies i'm i enjoy his campiness and uh, i want to turn him into an rpg character tabletop rpg uh, using just dice and, and an oracle. We're, we're not going to follow any set of rules. We won't follow my game type, Lucky Throw, or we won't follow D&D, 5e, nothing. We're just going to roll the dice and see what uh, our GPT friend can stir up with the narrative. So hopefully this can go for half an hour or so, but uh, and hopefully you guys can hear me. Let's just do a final uh, sound check. I just want to make sure the music is not too overwhelming. I don't typically use music. But the figured for uh, Seagal, it's necessary because uh, his movies have the most generic actions in the background. So let's go ahead and uh, get started finding out where Seagal is and what situation he's caught in. Because in his movies, he's always having some trouble somewhere, shooting up someplace, being shot at uh, in a foreign country. So let's see what Seagal has in store for us so starting location for let's see and situation we can say dire situation you guys can't see if i'm typing right below the oracle or yeah this music this music is perfect okay let's see what happens hopefully oracle works today so our location for Steven Seagal. And it looks like we're going to roll a D something. I know you guys can't see all of it, but... There we go. Alright, so... It's doing both lists separately, which is actually pretty, pretty good. I'm glad it did that. Um, let me go ahead and fix... My... Oracle, so you guys can see... All of them. It's a little small. Perhaps I can zoom in. There we go. I don't want to zoom in too much. Just just enough so you guys can see the text. There we go. Perfect. I like it. Okay. Uh, so we're gonna roll a d10 on the 10 percent. Just to make sure I remember the number for next time. Actually, 125 is much better. We'll do that. Okay. We'll roll a, a d10 for the starting location of our hero in leather. At uh, eight, he is currently uh, as a high at a high uh, as a guest at a high-profile martial arts tournament in Brazil. <laughs> okay, uh, and let's see, he's in Brazil right now. Now let's roll for. He's in Brazil. Let's roll for the situation. Eight. Also, a secret society's plot to control global politics. So, all right. Oh, you know what I need to do? Let me. I need to get my notes out. Sorry. One second, guys. I'm gonna just pause this for a second, or just uh, take a break. You'll see some editing here live at action, actually. Open my journal up, you guys. I uh, just decided you guys be able to see this for the heck of it. Uh... All right, and then so I'm prepping up my uh, journal. The solo play, I completely forgot. You need to note what you do. And then, so you guys can see it. I will be memorizing the AI there. And then, scoop the dice over.
We'll zoom in. Ah, oh, that's fine. As long as you guys can see the dice, that's all that matters. And then we'll add a screen layer for our journal. There we go. There we go. Okay, I'll try to do big text. So, and as always, I'm going to note what day it is so I remember. Let's see. Perfect. I love it. All right. Okay, so we rolled. We rolled eight twice. So Seagal is currently. I'll wait the text here. I'm sorry, guys. I forgot to do that note. Uh, I cut the journal, but at least I get it now. All right, Seagal. Same font size. Okay, so y'all is currently the same as a guest. Okay, guest attending a martial arts tournament in Brazil. And the situation uh, alongside him, there is a Secret society's plot to control global politics. We're going to highlight that one. So he's there. And then we need a backstory for Sigal. Typical backstory for. We got his name. In my clipboard, just for quick place. Woman Avery Seal, yeah, that's appropriate. Retired police detective known for his unorthodox method. A Hollywood action star, real life combat skills. Alright, I hope I roll for that one. Right, let's see. 10. 2. This looks CIA upper. Okay. Seagal is a. X CIA force is operative with a <laughs> with a mysterious past. Okay, um, let's see. Is Seagal currently with anybody? Who is Seagal currently with at the tournament? Is it is a uh, his love interest, who is uh, three times younger than him. FYI, that picture is obviously AI generated. It's that's not Seagal's physique. <laughs> what he wishes and dreams about every single night. <laughs> it's wet dreams, but <laughs> I thought it worked perfectly. And ironically, it's a dojo, so you know, in martial arts tournament. But you know, that's obviously a cliche for Seagal or Lord and Savior Seagal. But we're all we'll tend to figure out who he's with exactly. Seven. Local journalist covering the event, unknowing. And... <laughs> All right. Let's see. Um. Seagal is with a local Brazilian journalist covering the event. Covering the event. Uh. That's all we gotta say. Um, a name for a the Brazilian journalist. Ah, Brazilians. Name. A little ten. Nine. Oh, okay. uh, actually, yeah, we, we didn't really specify a gender. Diego, yeah, yeah, that's what you're pronouncing it right. Pop that over. Uh, 
Up to the 11, just like... That man perhaps is down the road. Diego, Yoria, Yoria. I'll say Diego. I, I don't. I did not want to butcher that name. That, that will not go well. Let's see. Okay, so. Oh, the music just a bit. Here we go. All right. Um. Let's see. He's sitting with her. I'm sorry, Kim. What is the journalist asking Seagal about? Mostly martial arts related. A lot of D10s today. Eight. Memories of his most memorable fights on and off screen. That would totally be Seagal to brag about. Okay. The journalist is... Oops. Is interviewing, asking Seagal about his past memorable fights. Okay. Now, we need something to suddenly happen. Uh, you know, let's let's talk to the Oracle. Let's see if this works. While chatting with the journalist at the martial arts tournament, something suddenly happens to Seagal. Surprised to take my mask of sailing so much deeper. <laughs> Remember, the starting plot, let's say if this was a movie, it would show the secret society that wants to control global politics. So picture a giant room like from Dr. Strangelove, and they're all mysterious cloaked figures. They're all chatting about controlling the world, you know, war, uh, the flow of weapons and poverty and money and everything like that. And then the movie just drops it. <laughs> just like all goes on to do something completely uh, different. So... D10 for that, for this current one. A loud explosion outside the venue causes panic. Oh, that's actually uh, quite interesting. A loud explosion outside the venue causes panic. How does Seagal and the journalist respond to this explosion? people will say he would not do that who got himself towards the explosion to the judo chop and slap them with swords oh only three i might have done this did i make a mistake or something uh let's see regenerate with proper number list I mean, it's a whole story. Stepping out of its boundaries here from when it's originally COVID and do. That's actually all right. Um, a list of ways Seagal would react to a situation typical of his movies. Sorry if it does that uh, non dice amount, uh, non dice number amount. But we'll roll with it. Pun completely intended. D10. That's totally fine if this is what it is. Alright. So let's roll a D10 as usual. Seems to be the number of the day. Four. Being ambushed. Maintains composure quickly, disarming the attackers. And Okay. So, alright. So while. There is an explosion. 
Uh, Seagal suddenly gets ambushed. Jeez, the story is perfect for Seagal. It's just like his movies. It's incoherent and all over the place. What happens... Oh, you know, let's talk to him. How does Seagal defeat these opponents who ambush him? I just could have said bad guys, but brain fart, I guess, which is quite often. All right. Uh, let's see here. We have close quarters combat. Keto as usual. <laughs> Oh my god, Divine and Conquer, I love it. It's like a title of a game. Or one of his movies. You know, we didn't think about title for this movie. Come on, this, this is, I know we're playing RPG, but this is a movie. Let's, we'll do that next. We'll, we'll take a pause in the narrative and we'll move back to the top of the uh, journal and make, grab a title for the movie. D10, I think? Yep, yeah, looks like we're just D10 today. Not only subdues the attackers with minimal harm, showcasing his control of shame. He subdues all the attackers with minimal effort and none and they remain unharmed okay we need a title for our cigar film let's see Go back up here Possible titles on a Steven Seagal film based on all of his typical cliche titles from the 2000s. I prefer his 2000s movies. This is far more camp. There, I don't know. That's I guess that's the, that's when I kind of started watching Seagal's campiness grow before his 2010s and goatee and okay, Rogue Assault, <laughs> Final Strike. These these are perfect. I actually like the D10s. Come on, three. Vengeful Impact. Okay, perfect. Big bold letters. Vengeful Impact. That's perfect. Okay. He subdues all the attack. All right, well, what happened to Explosion? Uh, let's see. Does Seagal care much about the explosion that happened outside the venue? Not Cigar, Seagal. Okay, at least it knows what I'm talking about. Looks like this it's going on a narrative here. See, there's this slight issue with... Uh, well, okay, it's giving me a list so far, but... Um, it's taking the wheel in the narrative, and we're not really playing a traditional RPG here. We're relying on the Oracle for pretty much everything. We're not doing yes or no rolls. So I, I will let it slide. Oh, we actually have a D6 this time. Three. Protector mode. Prior is the safety of those around. He would not do that. Come on. Oops. He would not do that. I am not going to accept that. Adjust the list so that it's for typical selfish Seagal reactions. Not so oh my gosh. The text, the speech text does not work all the time. Typical selfish reactions Seagal to explosion. Okay, I, I guess I just have to word it more, t tailor the wording to Seagal, typical Seagal shenanigans and tropes. All right, we're, looks like we're on the D6 train now. Okay. Avoiding involvement, trying to steer clearly and send us to reach. After the ambush, Seagal stays clear of the explosion incident. Since this is a movie, who caused the explosion outside the martial arts venue? This is a more... So I think I'm going to do yellow for things that Seagal does not know yet. You know, like, if it's a, this is a movie we're watching in person, these are things that are uh, displayed to us, and then Seagal is obviously going to figure it out later, or he doesn't care. He sits down and fights in a rolling chair. So Seagal is an ex opera These are things that he knows. Seagal is a local... He's, okay, he knows all this. Explosion, everything. So I think this will be a uh, a reveal 
a highlight. Eight, Cons uh, conducting and covered operation. What? Really? Okay. The attack explosion was due to, let's just say, uh, a covert operation by the government, Brazilian government. Brazilian government. Coincidentally. Really? Happened. Near, that was not by coincidence. That was written by. <laughs> that was written for Zagal. Happened near the venue. Now, here's the thing about some about many of Zagal films. The DEA will work with Hong Kong in Hong Kong. Please. So, there are agencies that Seagal is unaware of as far as what authority they have and jurisdiction. It has happened to be working offshore in another country internationally. So, let's say, let's modify the Brazilian government concept into something. Let's, let's tailor that into more of a goal. What random United States government agency would be working internationally? Her typical Seagal shenanigans. It keeps saying I say cigar. <laughs> Let's see. Random U.S. government agency operating internationally typical Seagal shenanigans. The CIA conducting covert operations, espionage, blah, blah, blah. Uh, NSA, the DA is quite often, uh, quite used often by Seagal. So I think the DSS, actually, I don't think I've seen that one before by Seagal. U.S. Federal Marshals, or sorry, U.S. Marshal Service. I want organizations that don't have jurisdiction, which some of these don't, I don't I believe. All right, we're back to D10, I guess. What is the goal? What is the movie showing up to us? Nine, U.S. Special Operations Command, SOCOM, undertaking... How, oh, okay, how about this? Because it says worldwide. What about organizations that do not have authority or, or jurisdiction internationally, but because of Steven Seagal movies they just happen to be working internationally oh they actually got my cigar correct what are, okay there we go I, it's a i didn't clarify what about organization local police department uh, <laughs> small town local law enforcement fire departments fire departments conducting raids outside of brazilian martial arts tournament <laughs> It's just a random fire department from like South Dakota <laughs> who like knows Seagal because he's a firefighter of them because he was a consultant. Oh my gosh. All right, this is great. Let's roll a nine. Universal. Campus security. Okay, what's the. Universal campus security for which college? Oh god. We're definitely changing this. Uh, Universe Metro City College, a bustling Liberty State Pacific Coast Academy. Are these fictional? I, I, we'll just roll it. I really don't care. It's got a fictional entry. All right, it's it's a it's fictional. It's a narrative, quote unquote narrative in for Seagal. For Rockford, Rock, okay, Rockford Institute of Technology, by the <laughs> happened here. All right, now was it security uh, related? Yes, by the security from the Rockford Institute of Technology, coincidentally happened near the venue. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Did Seagal use his body double to walk from where he was sitting with the Brazilian journalist to a safe location away from all of the shenanigans? This could just be a yes or no, but I, I'm curious what it's going to write. 
the mind that'll use the mislead potential threats for search lines to call navigate the chaotic chaos unnoticed. Please beat that one. You know, <laughs> the body double helps in that game buys. He would not do that. Oh, it's only five. Shoot. Okay, let's do it. Let's do a six just to see what happens. Four. Investigate attack. You don't have the body double to gather information approach to the source of the explosion without drawing attention. Uh, okay. You don't have to utilize the body double to gather information or approach the source of the explosion. Let's say Seagal sends his body double to assess the uh, site of the explosion. Now, what is Seagal doing? What humorous thing is Seagal doing in typical Seagal fashion while his body double does all the work? Enjoying a snack. <laughs> that's what I was thinking. Like it's food related. Playing guitar. Like uh, meditating. Just sitting there floating with like big glow and his aura is all like powerful looking. And it was like ladies, like supermodels, half his age, just like looking up at him. And they're, they're like mesmerized and just like, in a trance. <laughs> all right, ten, one. It was the first one I read. Perfect. Uh, let's see. Lyle Seagal enjoys a snack. <laughs> what does the body double discover about the explosion? A uh, body double. It, okay, yeah, body double. I, it, GPT is so advanced it just knows what I'm saying. Look at the fact that I also don't have a twerking microphone. Uh, we're reaching the 30 minute mark, so this is working out quite well. Please have a proper dice number list. I don't want to roll for a 7 or 11. It'd be funny if this did go to 11. Don't even look at it, don't even touch it. Alright, perfect, D10. 4. Linked to a corrupt official. <laughs> Wait, how? How did you discover that? Evolve a corrupt official business vested in interest. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Four, okay. How did the body double discover that the explosion was linked to a corrupt official? Oh, I'm just curious, like, it, it's a... Overhead conversation while blending in on the with the crowd. That's not possible. We're in Brazil. Seagal, who always pretends to be either Chinese or Russian, does not blend in with Brazilians. But in his movie, he can blend in with anything. I mean, look at the picture in front of you. He's blending in with like with the mat. That's how boring he is. So, what other color of his? Outfit does kind of match the mat. Roll a d10. Three. A witness confides in the body double. May anything happen to go off? What? A witness confides in the body double. May anything reveal the officials? Okay. Uh, meanwhile, the body double. Let's just let's adapt one of the other choices. The body double is surrounded by a crowd of onlookers one mysterious well let's see mysterious spell mysterious witness let's just say um mistook Seagal and mentioned he saw a public official before the explosion happens. Okay, that's, I, I'd say that's a good little, well, let's just say whole Seagal. Well, um, sorry. Body double. Don't forget that. Mentioned he saw a public official. 
who was the public official the witness saw in Brazil? Can't forget we're in Brazil. Got to keep that context rolling. Don't want to fall down the, the Steven Seagal trap with his movies, but we'll, whoops. There's more? Oh, I need to click enter. Can I save this before my computer explodes. Uh, let's see. Okay. Three. State governor of Sao Paulo. Powerful regional politician. Okay. So we need a name. A name of a Brazilian state governor. Man, whatever happened to our journalist? Maybe just the character. I don't know. Just disappeared. The governor. Uh, what was it? Three. And then the name, we're going to roll four. Two. Isabella. Uh oh. It's a female. You know what that means. Potential love interest. Isabella. I would just say Isabella because I didn't again I do not want to mispronounce I am somewhat terrible at mispronouncing last names I don't want to do not want to butcher that PRA okay. I'm gonna say I'll keep it in there that's fine the whole name I mean I'm not gonna take it out like the last time okay so to go. What does the real Steven Seagal do now that his body double discovered vital information of the story? Like legal action? Come on. All right, three. Interesting. Okay, I like that. Seagal plans for a sting operation. To catch the politician, the uh, governor. Doesn't know her name yet. While all of this is happening, whatever happened to the journalist that Seagal was talking to before this explosion happened? Throwing sports is supposed to go <laughs> Oh, come on, please, please, please. Then we'll have to track two characters, and that'll be even funnier. Rolling 10. Five. Caught in the crop. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, the ambush. Okay, I'm guessing it's the ambush. Finds her herself. Okay, him finds himself. Uh, was it a her? No, no, it was not a her. Uh, journalist. Diego. Now, Diego. Okay, finds himself in a dangerous situation, but manages to hide. Okay. Diego managed to escape from the sudden ambush during the explosion. Nobody knows who the ambushers were. Just a random, a random uh, action scene. Okay, so Seagal now plans. Okay, um, Seagal is planning a sting operation on the governor in Brazil. Does he team up with anybody?
Thirty five minutes. All right, guys, I'm gonna have to end this very, very soon. But this, I, I only had one viewer, probably just myself. Um, but this was so damn fun. I loved it. Uh, let's see. We're we'll, this. Will, this will be our last roll ten. Two. One military operative. Perfect. Okay. Sagal meets with a former military operative. Who? Background special forces. Who is this military operative with a background in special forces? And how does he or she know Seagal? Seagal. Okay, at least it's part of his name. Oh, it's just going to give us the whole... S oh, wait. Oh. Too many questions, I think. Yeah, let's just stop that. That's all right. Uh, a list of names for this military operative. I think when I give it such a, a, a too much of a direct question, it just builds a narrative. Like, it doesn't do the list thing. Captain... All right. I guess this is our second to last or third to last role here, Sergeant. All right. This is important, so we'll do this. This is another pot potential character. Okay. Are they still in good terms with Seagal? Please provide a list as usual. There you go. We should reprogram this GPT just to do like a D6. Like every time. I don't know, just a D6 that's so common. But I like I do like the 10, it gives variety. Six. So this is definitely the last roll. You can touch it occasionally. All right. So go. Keeps in touch with Mattis. Okay. And that's something significant, but I think we'll end here. So, what we learn this is a Seagal movie, and it's freaking perfect. So, as always, guys, thanks for watching, uh, and I'm glad I was able to do this live with all the viewers out there, all one of you. Uh, and uh, thank you for people on YouTube watching this, as usual, and I'll see you next time on another 8.30 Crew video. Take care, everybody, and stay safe.